A scam is when a perpetrator, usually a stranger, uses false promises to convince someone to pay money, usually in exchange for some sort of prize or benefit, maybe a product or an item. But also scams can be you know, paying money in order to avoid a negative consequence, like threat of arrest or something happening to a grandchild. The type of scams I've seen in Cottage Grove, um, the, some of the main ones are like a lottery uh, wins type scam, such as like Publishers Clearing House, where they call and say that they've won uh, X amount of money and they want them to pay taxes uh, on that money. You also see the scams from like Amazon saying your account's been uh, hacked or purchases have been made to, uh, from your account and that you need to contact them immediately uh, to resolve the issues. Some of the most common scams that we're seeing in 2022-2023 are imposter scams. So that's when the criminal might pretend to be a romantic interest, they might pretend to be uh, someone from the federal government or state government or even law enforcement or even a friend or family member. One of the other scams that you've seen, especially with uh, seniors, is uh, like a romance scam uh, where they get some type of a notification through a social media platform that has some nice picture of an individual on there and they start telling them how much they care about them, how much they love them. Before you know it, once they've built that rapport with that victim, uh, they convince that victim, hey, send me some money, uh, buy me this, I love you. Currently, older adults in the United States have 70% of our nation's wealth. So if you are a scammer, who are you gonna go after? The wealthy retiree or the young broke 20 year old? Another reason that might make older adults more susceptible, and we're seeing this more and more since the pandemic, is social isolation. So just the fact about being at home, you're more available by phone, even to door knockers than those out in the workplace. And another reason is if you're feeling socially isolated, if you're feeling lonely, you might be more open to those appeals from that charming stranger on the phone. A lot of uh, victims say, I can't believe I fell for this. I'm so, they'll tell me right away, I'm, I'm so embarrassed that, that I did this. Just know that it happens to a lot of people and these scammers do this because they're good at it. There's a lot of scientific research being conducted to try to understand which groups in the population are more or less susceptible to fraud. And what we're finding is that there are scams out there that are designed for every single demographic group, from young adults to immigrants to older adults. So I would say that on some level, we are all vulnerable to scams, to some type of scam, but there is research showing that age-related changes in the brain impact our financial decision-making, which can then make us susceptible to financial scams and fraud. First thing that you should do if you fall victim to a scam is contact your bank and shut down any bank account that has been compromised. Uh, another thing I would do is contact the Social Security Administration and uh, place a flag on your Social Security number. You can also run a credit check, contact your local law enforcement agency, and you can also report it to the Department of Commerce and IC3.gov, which is a self-fillable form on IC3.gov that ultimately tracks what happened and we can hopefully stop your money from being transferred to unknown parties. There's a number of things that we can do as individuals to help keep ourselves safe from fraud. The first is just stay up to date with the latest trends in scams and the type of money transfer methods that the criminals are demanding. For example, gift cards. Criminals love gift cards right now because they're easily accessible to us as consumers. They are easy to use, easy to buy at the store and just send the money, and it's anonymous. So getting that money back is really challenging. Another thing is cryptocurrencies. So a lot of criminals are going there and then peer-to-peer -peer payment apps. So just staying up to date on the latest frauds will really help keep you safe. We like to say forewarned is forearmed. Be informed and do not give any personal information over the phone unless you know exactly who you're talking to.